What's going on everyone, it's Greg, and today I am bringing you my first Dickeron G video. And I will be making a more comprehensive video, but for this one I just want to do a little quick tip kind of thing where I go over how you AFK farm. Now there's a lot of information um, that goes into farming, you know, XP, etc. So I'm not gonna I'm gonna do my best not to try to get sidetracked into too many things today, but I want to get into how you do the AFK farming and counter, you know, like the human verification, how do you get around the 1200 potion limit, all that good stuff. So let's get into some of the issues that's made it hard for me to even figure out some of these things, you know, playing the game. First and foremost, the fact that you can't see the health of the mobs or their level is a big deal. Now, I did, I, for a while, I couldn't find level anywhere in the game, like what the level of the mobs are. Finally, the other day, I was looking at the map. And if you actually go to this global looking map, and you see like this right here, Spider Cave, click on this, it gives you a recommended level. That gives you some idea of what level these mobs are. So you got 15 to 20, 1 to 15. 15 to 23 this is your recommended level so the mobs are going to be a little bit lower now one thing that i don't necessarily 100 percent agree with but hey it is what it is there is a way to more information on the mobs and the site does have a guide so i would say it is actually a little bit useful and definitely helps with some information in the game so if we uh go ahead and switch over to this you see here, I'll put this link in the description. It's decoronglobal.com um, and it's on their official website. They have a guide here. There's guide and there's book and book is just kind of like information. And one thing they have on here is the information of the normal monsters and the boss monsters. They don't have the information on the dungeons, which, you know, some of those areas like Spider Cave is technically a dungeon. You just kind of like guess, guesstimate. But here you can see on all the main areas. Like here's Southern Deneve, and if we switch over to Decoron real quick, we can see Southern Deneve. It says you recommend level 24 through 27. So let's take a look at what those mobs are. Southern Deneve, you can see here we have 25, 26, 24, 23. So anywhere from 23 to 29. Basically, they're recommending that you can farm, you know, within two levels of the max and uh, probably within what one level well, now they say they go down as far as 23 so like within two levels of the max um of the max mob and so you can come in here to kind of like try to figure out what mobs you can target and that brings me into like how you go about this like how do you actually afk the main issue you're going to have is the potions you can only carry or at least at this point i can only carry up to 1200 potions at a time as you can see here I pull my dick around back up is I am currently working on just one of the main story quests and I'm probably at this point too far ahead to really keep going but one of the big issues besides potions is all these misses and on the misses it is a big deal in the game accuracy is very 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 important um as is MP regeneration and both those factor into your efficiency um I have really targeted some gear to build up MP regeneration because you want to be able to fire off your skills at a decent rate, um, especially if you're going to AFK. And then also, um, the accuracy is going to help too with being able to avoid those misses. But the accuracy doesn't matter as much when you're going to AFK. The reason being is you're going to pick mobs that are lower level. So, right now I'm level 37, and even within the past few levels, the area I really targeted was uh, I went to the map and I saw, hey, Spider Cave recommends 28 through 35. Southern Neneve, it was a little bit lower. So I'm like, eh, I don't know how I want to do that. Northern Neneve is a little bit higher. Well, actually, I guess it's not. Um, it's, it's around in the same range. You got to remember this Spider Cave actually has like three floors. So that's where this uh, wide range comes from. And so you can pick like what you're going to do. If you're going to do Spider Cave 1F, 2F, or 3F, and I say right now, I've been in 2F, but I still use some potions a little bit. Um, around level 34, 35, when I started really AFKing, I did uh, 
the spider cave at 1F. And this seemed to be a good balance for me the, for, you know, saying, hey, I can, you know, kill the mobs pretty quickly and I'm not going to take any damage. Now, how exactly does this work? So let me go ahead and just travel to the spider cave. And um, I'm going to go to Southern Deneve. I'm going to do move um, because here, if you're getting hit by a mob, you can't teleport. So what I like to do is move. And when I get enough out of the range, I'm going to go here and just teleport. Now, that'll put me closer to the spider cave. Now, if I go back to the map and hit spider cave region, I'm going to go ahead and go to 1F. So we're going to travel there and then we'll continue. All right. So now we are in the cave and, um, you want to find the best location You can kind of tell by, you know, what the spawns are. And if you reference that to the um, website, you can get some information. But like I said, they don't list the dungeons. So I don't know if they actually have maybe have these mobs listed anywhere else. But um, my assumption would be if I'm coming into a map, the easier ones are going to be toward the beginning and the harder ones toward the end. I don't know if that's the case, so don't hold me to it. By the way, you're just going to find some place in here that you want to work. Now, in terms of efficiency and leveling and things like that, there are a lot of potions and scrolls in the game that give different attributes. Um, just such as I do have some acceleration potions. I think that's what this is. Yeah, acceleration potions are going to boost attack speed, uh, movement speed, attack speed, and cast speed. So main thing here for like Archer is going to be attack speed. Which means I'm going to XP faster. Um, these scrolls, defense scrolls, going to add you some defense and stun resistance. It's going to last 30 minutes. You buy those from the shop. The uh, awakening scrolls going to give you a little bit uh, of stats here. And again, you can get those at the shop. So you also have maybe some XP potions. I only have like one little one left sitting here which can give you 50% or you can get some of the 10% uh, XP potions. And there are some actually, you know, if you are going to, you want to invest a little bit in the game, the two best options in the game for purchases right now would be the Omnipotent Essence 30 Days the event. Um, you can get it under consumables as well, but it is a nice deal here under the event. And then under consumables, you can also get Incar's Grace 30 days. This is going to give you a uh, XP additional um, deal from your kills and some blessing point bonus there as well. And the Omnipotent Essence is going to give you movement speed, attack speed, cast speed, MP recovery. MP recovery is a huge one. Um, you definitely want that. Like I said, guys, you want to get your MP recovery to the point where maybe you only have to put like a one or two second delay on your skills. I mean, ideally, you want enough to be able to just continuously cast them as their cooldowns are done. Uh, for me, I still have to have like one on two seconds, one on one second, depending on what I have active at the time. And I did get some uh, gear that works for that. So now what you want to do is once you find your spot, you're going to get set up in and you need to do your own research based on your level. Um, I will try to give you a quick tips you know 34 35 36 37 range i would say the spider cave um there's also some spots here where you can farm some other stuff um uh, spider den east is a good spot um if you're a little bit lower than that then you might want to start looking at southern Den southern denive before that you would be in our deck of forest uh, fortress so these spots you would do this same method here you would come in here and what you're going to do is hit the auto button. Now, once you're on auto, make sure your stuff is all set that we use. If you want to use your potions, make sure they're set. And that's all going to make a difference. As you see here, I am not getting a ton of XP here because I think I kind of leveled up past this one. I probably would do spider den. Uh, I would do the cave 2F. Um, but it also depends on the potions. You know, if I want to be able to set this up all night, then I'm going to go ahead and sacrifice, you know, a little bit of XP if it's going to save me on potions. You do not want to use potions because you're not going to last 1200 through a night. Uh, there's a few situations where you might use one every like 10 15 minutes. I mean, that's fine, but if you start using these within the first minute, it's not the spot for you. So, once you get set up, you're confident with your spot, 
You're gonna come over here to the left hand side, hit this little power button looking thing. It's gonna put you into power saving mode. From here, you actually get a timer as to how much time has passed, you get how many coins you've gotten, how much deal, um, and then your XP is gonna show up here. You can kind of get an understanding of what your rate of XP is. So that's what you're gonna use this for. You come back the next day or whenever, a little bit later, boom, you should be good to go. You should still be there um, as long as you're not using too many potions. And also if you're your archer, make sure you have your arrows. So that is really the basics of AFK XP. Um, if you don't use this power saving screen, then you're gonna have issues with it trying to re-verify that you're a human being. Um, if you uh, are leveling in an area that's a little bit like slightly even slightly too much for you um and you like maybe you have to buy potions every hour or two then that's not the spot to be afk so you really just need to find your sweet spot where you can kill mobs fairly fast and they're not doing much damage to you once you find that that's your afk spot for maybe i guess a couple levels um and then you move on and find another spot so that's it guys that's what i got for you today like i said there probably will be some more Decoron content. Let me know down in the comments anything that you're interested in seeing. Um, I will be going away for about a week, so I won't have any new videos coming out. But I might try to record a few of these. I might have a few of these going while I'm gone. But I did want to get this out because it is pretty straightforward. And it's something that I didn't quite understand at first. So uh, I want you guys to be able to have the best time possible when it comes to leveling. So if you do have any con uh, questions about this, let me know down in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them. And uh, other than that, I'll catch you guys in the next video.